Hi guys, I'm back with another video. First of all, thank you for the nice comments in the previous one. I've been away for almost four years, so it's nice to be back and um, hopefully it will be for a while. I'll try to make a new video every week. Also, I got a new microphone, so I think the audio will be much better than the previous videos. Um, of course, I'm still trying to figure out the settings, so it may improve, but I think it's still it's already way better than it, what it used to be. Now in this video I'll show you how to do this effect for Instagram, I'm sure you've seen it before, people uploading multiple photos and which make one a big uh, image. And you can do this with let's say 3, 6, 9 or 12 images. I think 12 will work great for uh, portrait photos, let's say of a tree or a person. But uh, for this tutorial I'll show you how to do it with 9 images. You can apply the same principle for other uh, number of images. Or I can make in the future another tutorial if you're interested in that to see how to do it with 12 images. Now, this is the image that I'm going to use for this one. Just open an image by going to open or dragging and drop an image in GIMP. Now, next thing I want to do is to crop the image to my liking and grabbing the crop tool from here. Click and drag like this. Make sure I turn off this fixed option if it's on and then right here 1080 which is the minimum size for Instagram. So don't go below this number, you can go above, but uh, 1080, but 1080 is going to be the size of our squares. So let's write this in both places here for the size. And now we have this square. We're gonna click now on the fixed option to keep the aspect ratio when we're resizing the square. Now go here and I'm going to multiply this by three. And this way I'm going to get um, three times the size of the initial square now here gimp has some kind of a bug you can see the number it's not matching this one but it's going to start to match it once i move this around you see now it fixed itself so don't uh once you have the number multiplied by three don't scale down only scale up so now i scaled up to fit the face of this woman to my liking and maybe i think something like this will work nicely now my next move is to make sure this number can be divided by 3. So I will copy it because I'm terrible at math. I'm going to start the calculator and I'm going to divide it by 3. And uh, luckily for me, for me this uh, divided exactly. But if you see something like this, um, something like let's say 1228 1228.666 then just increase with one pixel or two pixels depending on what's the number to make sure it divides exactly in, uh, uh, by three and you get a whole number like this so that's important so when we cut the image uh, each square is exactly the same size so once we are happy with the image with the position everything we've checked the numbers here we just click in the middle of the square to crop the image sometimes uh, you may not see you may see some um, canvas here in that case go to image and make sure to uh, select the option fit to canvas size if you see that now in this case the image cropped and uh, now it's uh, a square and next we go to image and we're going to place some guides using this option this time uh, and the first uh, place we're going to place the guide is um, we need to grab this number start the calculator again put it here and now i'm going to divide it by three again and get this number so 1228 going back here 1228 and clicking ok and this will place a guide at this point of the image going again here guides new guide and this time we need to double this number so just go to the calculator, double it, 2456, write it down here, and now you see we have the guide over here. Now we go again to the image guides, new guide, and this time we flip it to vertical. Just change the option over here to vertical, don't change the number, just click on it, and we have a guide over here. Next we go to image again, and we're going to place the last guide and we need to divide this number by two again. So going here and dividing it by two and get the same number as we initially have, 1228. 
click here, place the guide over here. Now you see we have these squares. So the next option, we go to filters and uh, I think it was web slice. And we're supposed to be getting a dialogue here. There you go. So if it doesn't pop up, just make sure you select it. Then uh, we are going to get it on the desktop. Change the folder where you want um, GIMP to create the images. Go and change this option to JPEG. And then also I'm going to uh, click here to create a separate image folder for this one. And then just click OK. And this is going to create our sliced images. Once we do this, we go to the desktop here and you have, you're going to have a folder. Just click on that folder and you can see we have the slice image over here. And of course, the next step will be when uploading to Instagram to make sure you create a separate post for each image, each image and start with this one, then uh, post this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on until you have all of them uploaded. So the order is important and each one needs to be a separate post. And once it's over, you can go to your profile and you're going to see this there. And here the gaps are pretty big, so it doesn't look so great, but on Instagram it's going to look better. So that's it. It's pretty easy. If you do it with 12 images, you have to take into account that we're going to have another a row of squares here and just apply the same principle. Let me know if you want to see a video with the 12 squares. And I'm going to do that for you. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope, that, guys, it was useful. If it was, uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Visit it for much more videos. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Bye.